Game three of the NLCS, Chicago at Florida, another unreal game. Marlins have never lost consecutive postseason games. Cubs haven't won back-to-back -back playoff games nearly 20 years. Mark Redman making his second postseason start. Cubs beat him in his only start in the regular season. First batter beats him up, not hit by pitch for Kenny Lofton. Instead, it's hit pitcher for Lofton. Shoulder catches Redmond in the mug. Lofton safe. Redmond okay. In fact, he was better than okay, but it's early in the highlight. Lofton sacrifices second and scores when Sammy brings him home. Cubs with one early. Sammy, by the way, went three, four, five. Kerry Wood has handled the Marlins. Hook, line, sinker, mostly fastball. 4-0 and in five starts. Wood also 2-0 and this postseason in two starts. Starts. Jack McKeon respects the Cubbies pitcher, but knows that every dog has its day. Today he's seen a better ball club than he saw the last time he pitched against us. I'm not taking anything away from Curry Wood. He's an outstanding young pitcher. He's been beat 11 times so far, so I mean, he's, you know, he's not unbeatable. Well, the first batter Wood face, Juan Pierre. He's now one for nine career against Wood, a one, two, three first. We go to the fourth inning. Miguel Caprera just scored on an RBI double by Alex Gonzalez. Wood gives him a little chin music. Marlins bench ready to beef if necessary, and Wood slides Cabrera away. Fifth inning, two out bases loaded for Pudge. Bat 500 in the postseason with runners in scoring position. Struck out in his last at bat. Three consecutive sliders and done in this at bat. Let's go top seven. Two out, but back to back singles. So Skip's going to take the ball from Redmond. Eight hits, two earned. Bring in Chad Fox. He walks to Ramos Ramirez to load the bases. Eric Karams can't hold the swing. Fox out of the jam. Bottom seven. Alex Gonzalez singled. Mike Lowe walks. Juan Pierre, no one is a good bunner, moves the runners over. Next batter, Luis Castillo. RBI ground out. And this game is tied at two. I Rod coming up. Pudge is going to chase Wood with his 11th RBI of the postseason. Now batting six for 12 with runners in scoring position. Wood six and two thirds, seven hits, seven Ks, three earned. Eighth inning. Tom Goodwin pinch hit triple off Chad Fox. Next batter Randall Simon. Pitch to Simon swung on the fly ball deep right field. This ball is way back and gone. Randall Simon. The first pitch he sees from Fox hits it out. And now the Cubs have taken the lead back here in the eighth. Simon's first career postseason home run. It is 4-3. Florida eighth. Miguel Cabrera let off the single with sack to second. Two out. Pinch hitting Todd Hollinsworth off Joe Borowski. His first blow and save in more than two months. Game tied. Kyle Farnsworth unhappy. Miguel Cabrera, who scored, was his responsibility. Then again, it's a team game. Everybody's responsible. Cubs ninth and tenth. Ugi Urbina strikes out four of the six. He faced Florida ninth. Borowski gets Mike Mordecai to pop out to center. We go to extras. Cubs 11th. Kenny Lofton. One out single against Michael Tejera. Doug Glanville is then going to bat for Borowski. The run and hit is on. Lofton's on his way home. Glanville right through the shortstop hole. His first career postseason RBI. He triples but was left stranded. 5-4. Sammy coaching him up. Mordecai at short went to cover second. Ball said thank you very much. Celebrate good times. It's here for management. Part of my thinking was that I know Doug can hit that fastball. I don't care if you shoot out of a bazooka. He, you know, he can hit that fastball. Uh, I've had some some key hits, but, uh, you know, I haven't even had a lot of, I've had no postseason experience, so, um, so it's a great thrill to, to contribute at this point. Florida's turn. Castillo reached on a strike him out. Wild pitch. Derek Lee up. Grounder to Ramos Ramirez. He kicks it, but Castillo wearing his batting helmet, not his thinking cap. Must have thought Ramirez would field and throw cleanly to first. He'd take third. He thought wrong. Game over. Game of first in this Cubs 5-4 win. Marlins first ever one-run loss in their postseason history. They're 8-1. Glanville's first ever postseason RBI. Remlinger's first ever postseason save. Borowski's first ever postseason win. Saturday, game four. Matt Clement, Dontrell Willis. The NLCS, Cubs up 2-1 in the Marlins. Dontrell Willis, Matt Clement traded for each other. Part of a six-player trade on March 27th of 2002. And there's Pretzel Man in the top of the first walking Kenny Lofton. You know, those guys always score. Two batters later, Sammy Sosa, free pass. And then Moises Alou, ball four, take your base. Brings up Aramis Ramirez, show you the whole pitch sequence here. Strike one, all right, found the zone. Yep, plate doesn't move, waved on that one. But next pitch, fouls in the stands. 
All right, 0 2 again. Just misses ball one. I oh, wanted that. Didn't get the next pitch. Ball two. Evens the count of two. 2 2 pitch. Dan Schulman calling on ESPN Radio. Just trying to throw some strikes. The 2 2 pitch. A swing and a high fly ball. Deep left field. Conine is back, and he'll watch it go. Just there inside the left field foul pole. It's a grand slam for Aramis Ramirez. Ed Yost calls those four run homers. First postseason grand slam in Cubs history, and he wasn't done. Top third. Ramirez up for a second time. This time, he keeps him in the park. Little shooter to the right side. Sosa scores. Throw home. Just a bit outside. Gets away from Pudge. Runners advance to second and third. Cubs lead 5 0. Jack McKean out to talk to Willis. What'd you say there, Jack? I told him it was, uh, you know, it was a lovely evening. And. Uh, we were waiting to get him back in the dugout so we could hit. Hurry up and get the inning over. See, he appeared to be a lot more angry than that. Oh, well, next batter, Willis walks Eric Carroll to load the bases, and he is done. Two and a third, three hits, six earned, five walks, two Ks. D train, the night's over. Rick Helling comes in, Alex Gonzalez, that'll get through. Alou scores, charge that run to Willis. Cubs lead 6 0 after the inning. Pudge. You got to talk the kids down. He's only 21. There'll be a lot more games to pitch. Top seven, 7-2 seven game. Ramirez up again. Nate Bump on the bump, trying to throw the pill over the dish, and that's yard work. Solo shot to left is fourth postseason. Over Cubs lead at 8-2, and then with the bases empty, two out in the seventh. Matt Clement doing nasty work to Alex Gonzalez. Not that one. This one. Clement seven and two thirds, three earned runs, and the Cubs win it eight to three. They take a 3-1 series lead. They are 27 outs away from the World Series. And I'm sorry if you Cub fans think I may have just jinxed everything there. Big hitter Chicago homering now in six straight games. Only two other teams have longer postseason streaks. The Marlins starters, a combined ERA in this series. 10.90. Jeff Brantley with more on D. Nices. Games to one of the Marlins Cubs trying to go back to the fall classic. Facing Josh Beckett. Cubs have outscored the Marlins 11 0 in the first inning of the NLCS so far. First inning, Sammy Sosa up with two outs. And Sammy is about to get played. Grounds to short to end the inning. Cubs fail to score in the first inning for the first time in the NLCS. Let's go to the third. Bottom three, Miguel Cabrera trying to hit Carlos Zambrano with two on, two out. Zambrano hits Cabrera, literally, in the arm, loads the bases. Next batter, Derek Lee. My bad. Grounds to the 6-4 fielder's choice to end the inning. Lee hitting only 184 in the postseason. Fourth inning, top four, so up with one out. Got some chin music and didn't like it. Pudge Rodriguez actually calmed Sosa down. Pudge said later, quote, me and Sammy have a good relationship. We didn't try to hit him, it just got away. Josh, Beck, what do you say? He overreacted a lot. Uh, I, I don't know really what else to say. You know, I thought it was, uh, I, I don't know what he was trying to do, trying to pull a, a Boston Red Sox Yankees thing. Come over. Likes to throw. It's everywhere, the Red Sox Yankee reference. <laughs> Returning to the at bat, Beckett rocks Sosa to sleep. That was his sixth strike out of the game for Beckett at that point. Bottom four, Juan Pierre up two on two out. Zebrano walks Pierre to load the bases. Next batter, Luis Castillo, check swing. Check out to end the inning. Zambrano, Geek, fifth inning. Aramis Ramirez, he tied an LCS record with six RBI Saturday night. Yokes it, and he yokes it just foul. Watch the replay. If it's fair, it's a home run. If it's foul, it's foul, it's foul. Very next pitch, Ramirez, you ain't got to go home, but you got to get the heck up out of here. Cubs had banged out 22 extra base hits first four games of the series. Next batter, Randall Simon. Hits it hard. Derek Lee makes a diving stop. All right, D. Lee, so you're only hitting 184 this postseason. We'll overlook it. Bottom five, booyah! Mike Lowell up with one on two out, two run Jack. His second homer of the NLCS. The All-Star had a team high 32 homers and 105 RBI during the season. In between the fifth and sixth, you saw Zambrano. He was ticked off because he got pulled. Seventh inning, Ramirez could have been arrested for loitering. Bottom seven, Pudge. You know, usually I don't like to do this, but y'all go ahead and keep the party going. Pudge, his third home run of the NLCS. He's been silly this postseason. He's hit safely in all nine games in the postseason. Alex Gonzalez leading off the eighth. Check swing. That's Beckett's tenth K. Next batter, Paul Baco, please. 11 Ks ties a season high for strikeouts for Beckett. Sammy Sosa up, two outs in the ninth. 
and the Cubs are shut out in the postseason for the first time since 1918. And the winning pitcher that day for the Red Sox, a guy named Babe Ruth. Beckett here, pitch Marlins for a zip win. How long was I going to go with Beckett? All the way. I couldn't have anybody in the bullpen that had better stuff than he had in the ninth inning. That was probably his finest game of the year. Marlins hold off the Cubs when at 3 2, their bags are packed. They're going to the north side of Chicago. Marlins team chaplain Chris Lane led his usual service for players before the game, said Lane, it was a little more motivational than usual, and we had a lot more people there. Beckett picks the perfect time for his first career complete game. Harold Reynolds, take us to school lecture style.